Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and this is my YouTube channel, Whit Makes, and I'm here today on the floor of my office. I'm in the middle of like organizing, planning. You're gonna see my next few videos. I'm going to be sitting here in this outfit because I'm filming them all right now before I put things back on my shelves. Um, but I wanted to share today the some of the spring releases, the pattern releases that just really caught my eye and I have either bought or I really am strongly considering buying. And I'll talk about that as we talk about each pattern. Now, I'm going to talk about some indie releases. I have something to say about that. And then the big five, seven, whatever the big, the big uh, patterns are. Um, I'm going to talk about Simplicity, McCall's, Know Me. I think that's it. I didn't like anything at Butterick. Um, I wasn't really into anything at New Look that I just had to have. And is that it? Oh, and the Vogue patterns, you know, they, they released the early spring and there were some actually some really cool patterns, but I feel like I'm, I'm not getting any of those. I didn't really want to talk about them for spring, but if they release a spring collection and we need to talk about it, we'll talk about it. I know I've seen a lot of people put videos like this up, but I think it's really great to talk about patterns, to talk about why you like them. Sometimes I watch these videos and a pattern that maybe I hadn't really thought was very interesting or that I wanted someone kind of talk through their process or what they would do or why they're inspired by it. And I'm like, oh yeah, that is kind of cool. So I love that all of the patterns now are on simplicity.com. I don't know that the website is perfect yet, but I will say I have been able to search for patterns for like a blog post or for here really easily. I, I think I like it. I, I think I like it. So it will be interesting to see as the summer releases come out, um, who has them and how they can, what, you know, it feels like a bunch of spring came out at once. Um, and it was quiet for a while from Butterick. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really invested in any of the inner workings or drama of that, but I do love their releases and to look at them. I like seeing the trends. I like seeing, um, what they think people are making for themselves. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. But I did think there were some really good spring ones. Now, I'm just going to talk about the patterns that I would truly buy. There are other patterns that were beautiful, that were very cool, um, but just are not my style. I wouldn't actually make that kind of thing. But I would love to hear patterns that I don't mention that you are just like, no, 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 I'm buying this one. Can't wait to make it. I I really wanted it like this is only I'm going to spend money on. And some of them I might not, but we'll talk about that when we talk about the why. For indie patterns, I only have three to share today. Indie patterns, um, if you don't know, they don't really release season, like season collections. It's more that a designer will just release a pattern. It's kind of like knitting patterns. I'm finding that they work on the design and then they release it. Usually it goes with the season. That would be like the smartest probably in trying to sell it. But it's pretty rare that there's just like a bunch of spring, you know, a spring collection drops and I can easily search them. Would love to know if you have like I went and looked on the fold line and clicked on new patterns and I was pretty aware, although I did find one I didn't know about, but I would love to hear if you have a resource of kind of keeping track of new indie patterns or if you just follow your favorite companies on Instagram or blogs or whatever or email and then you get to know when they have a new pattern coming out. That's kind of what I do, I guess. Um, or when you just see one over and over on Instagram and you're like, fine, I'll go look at it. So let me know. I have three, like I said, from Indie Patterns and anything I missed or a new Indie Pattern that you're like, you've got to see this. It's fantastic. I saw there's been a lot of camp shirts, which I don't want to make. So I didn't include those, but there's some good ones. Friday Pattern Company has one. I think So Over It had one in Helen's Closet, maybe. And they're all like different but I just am not making those this summer, so I didn't include those. Okay, that's enough chatty intro. Let's talk about patterns. Okay, 
My first one I have bought. I bought it immediately and I also bought a few other patterns because she had a Me Made May sale and that is the Laura Dress by True Bias. So what I love about this dress, do I have lots of little summery dress patterns? Yes, yes I do. What I love about this one is the bodice. It has this beautiful bodice with the gathers. If you do not have boobs, like me, <laughs> this kind of bodice can really amp them up and really, it just, I, I think it's also a beautiful silhouette if you do have boobs, I will say. But I just, when I saw it, I was like, that is so, and then what really sold me is like the scoop back. I just think this is so pretty. You can do straps, you can do, there's a big billowy sleeve, there's a short length and a long length. It's kind of a nice mix of like a slip dress and then just a beautiful summer sundress type of pattern. So I bought this. I will probably not make it soon, maybe near the end of summer. I, I'm going to want somewhere to wear this. Like I want, I feel like it can be a casual everyday dress, but I feel like I want some beautiful special fabric and to make this dress. But I think it's so lovely. I'll probably make the strap version that feels more summery to me, but it is really beautiful with those big billowy sleeves. So I love that one. The next one, and if you watch next week, I will share my June plans. This is already in them. I already bought it. I bought it immediately. It is the, I think you say, Somar Camisole by Paradise Patterns. This is all over Instagram. So if you want to go and see this on different bust sizes, on different body types, in different fabrics, you can have plenty of inspiration and see if it's for you. So at first glance, like you look at the line drawings, you're like, this is just a boring tank. Yes, but <laughs> one, we all wear boring tanks. Like I need a tank like this. I love the scoop neck. Two, it has a shelf bra in it. So I haven't seen anything like this in the sewing world and I think it's fantastic. So I'm going to try a bunch of them. I have some rib knits, I have some t-shirt knits, I have a bunch of scrap fabric and we're going to make a bunch of them. There will be a pattern review. We will talk about it. I do realize, like I said, I am in the small chested club, so I can't answer questions on that but like I said so many people have tested this they've made multiple versions everyone's making it so if you do want to find out the truth about this pattern and how people of different sizes are wearing it go check out I would t I would look at paradise patterns on Instagram and see if they've been tagged and then the hashtag for this specific pattern and you will find a lot of examples. I have not done sizing, and I'm sorry I don't have it right in front of me. I know True Bias has inclusive sizing. They have two pattern ranges, um, and then it looks like Paradise Patterns, which is quite nice. It's right here on this thing. Sizes A through P, yes, that's her sizing, bust 28 inches to 58 inches, and it is a knit pattern with I'm assuming negative ease in it. So that looks amazing. I can't wait to make it. Okay, the third indie pattern I have that I have not bought, and actually this came up when I searched for new patterns on the fold line, and I was just like, oh, this is kind of interesting. It's from I Am Patterns, which I don't think I've ever made anything from them, but this is the Chantal t-shirt. And the reason this caught my eye is it's a t-shirt. It has a scoop neck or a boat neck. It has short sleeve or long sleeves or three quarter sleeves, but it can be a bodysuit or a t-shirt. And the t-shirt bodysuit, if you look at the pattern page, it looks just like a regular t-shirt. So it has a little, what's the word? Blousing? That's not the word, but you know what I mean? Like. It looks like she's just wearing a t-shirt with her jeans, but then they show you and there's just like little panties attached to the t-shirt. I thought this was kind of cool for, again, a very like a basic. And I also like that there was just the t-shirt if you just want a basic t-shirt pattern, but I'm kind of going to keep my eye on this. And then when I, when I need some basics and some more t-shirts and kind of refresh, 
I might look at this because I'm intrigued by the bodysuit with it and it not being, you can make it tight fitting. Like you can make it like look like a bodysuit, but just the girl wearing the first t-shirt just looks like she's wearing a t-shirt. So I thought that was interesting. Just putting it out there. All right, let's look at McCall's. Now I only have one McCall's pattern. I did, there were a few of these that I thought were good and fine. I just, I don't need them and I'm not gonna make them. But this one by Brandy Joan, M8383. I bought this at Joann's. It was on sale for $1.99 and I love it. So it's a t-shirt dress, right? It's a t-shirt dress. There's kind of like a boat neck version. There's a bit of a scoop neck version. It has a cutout in the back that's very pretty. What I think is interesting is the seaming, and I will be sure and put line drawings in, not just the picture, but I really like the seaming and how the slit is with the seam, and I just think it makes it a little bit more than just a t-shirt dress. It gives it beautiful shaping. You could make it like super sexy, but I also am thinking of finding just some great t-shirt fabric. I actually love the gray that she made it in, and maybe even not doing the cutout and just wearing it with sneakers and sandals as a t-shirt dress. I just think this is really, really wearable and really you could change it up how you wear it. So I really liked that one. For the Nomi patterns, I bought uh, 2033 by Handmade Millennial. When she showed this on Instagram, I was like, yes, I am buying that. I think this is a adorable 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 i love first of all i love the pink and the yellow combo that she did it spoke to my heart i think these pants are very cool they kind of remind me of my bob pants but they have the flat front and just the elastic in the back and then these very cool cutouts color blocking and then i like the little tops too but i really really love the pants so i bought it i probably won't make it for a few months but love 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 the other, I have two other Nomi patterns that I did not buy. And it's mainly because I don't have anywhere to wear them, but I kind of have them in the back of my head if there's some, there's a reason to make these pretty dresses. The first one is from, is uh, ME2032. And it's this just really beautiful dress that maybe on first glance looks really simple, but I think the detail at the bodice is very interesting and beautiful. It kind of has like a bustier kind of feel to it. And then the back is really, really pretty. And I just think she has it in a short version and a long version. I think depending on your fabric, this could be super formal or this could be just a beautiful sundress. And I just thought it was interesting and something different with the bodice that I haven't seen before. The other one is ME2027. This is the jumpsuit or the, yeah, the romper. The jumpsuit is long, right? And a romper is short. Okay. When I first saw this, I was like, okay. And then I looked at the line drawings and I was like, wait. <laughs> I love this. She has made them very bold, bright colors. I love like this 70s collar. I love the shape of it. And I just think... You could make it as bold as you wanted. You could have so much fun with colors. You could have fun with print mixing, I think. I just, I might be getting this one and finding somewhere to wear. I just think it's very cool. I love the wide leg jumpsuit. And I don't know. I think it's it's a really, really cool one that it took me a minute to kind of get into. Okay, and then my last ones I'm going to look at are Simplicity. I thought Simplicity had a really strong spring release. I have not bought any of these. Mainly they came out after I had been shopping. I haven't bought them. But if these go on sale anytime soon or met Joanne or whatever, I don't know. These these might be going in my cart. So the first one is $97.79. This is the Madeline. She does like lots of the bras and lingerie things. And this is so cute. So it's this little corset top. I love how low the back is. And I just think this is really sweet and kind of different. And I think there's like some real structure in that bodice. So you might learn a lot making this. And I just think it's really beautiful. 
The next one I want to talk about is uh, 9778. So this is a Mimi G pattern. I'm not going to buy this because I have a dress very similar to it that is from Very Easy Vogue that I actually made and I want to remake this summer in a better fabric. But I wanted to save this because this one has more size inclusive. It has a sleeve option. It's a little bit different, but I love this type of dress. I feel like it's really sexy, but it's not, you're not actually like showing a lot of skin and it's very cool and comfortable. I wore mine and mine is actually bright yellow. I wore mine to Disney and it was like perfect for walking around in Disney. This was years ago, but I just think it's really cool. It's a great knit dress and I wanted to keep it on here because when I talk about the one I want to remake, I will link to this one as well if you want to get a similar pattern because I bet her version is fantastic. So I love the look of that dress. The next one is a pair of pants. It's $97.85. So I've seen lots of cargo style pants. I think McCall's had a version this release and I can't quite get into it. I grew up wearing those. I just can't quite like go there again, but I loved that this had three versions and they're three very distinct pants. So there's kind of like a paper bag waist one with a tie. There is just, I'm assuming it's a bit high waist, um, wide leg flowy pants. And then there is a jogger style and they've added the little cargo pants. So you can like kind of get that cargo look, but not have to go full cargo pant. And I think I might be buying this because I would make all three of these versions. I think they're really versatile and a great bang for your buck. So I really liked that pattern. And then the last one I wanted to talk about is $97.95. I love when Simplicity does these unisex patterns, which they do pretty much every release. This is a pair of shorts. So I, my son is very tall and very, very small in the waist. He's very skinny. And I have a hell of a time getting him any pants that fit. And both of my kids are in, they're 12. And they're in that tween stage where they can't really fit in the kids' clothes. They can't really fit in the adults' clothes. And then there's just like random tween clothes. Like, it's hard to shop for kids these age. Like, that still just want to dress like kids, <laughs> but have clothes that fit. Anyway, I thought this pattern, this will be great. So there's like a cargo short version. It's elastic waist. There's almost a version that looks like it could be athletic shorts or even swim trunks. Um, and I just thought this was really versatile and they have it on a, on a man and a woman. So my kids are probably in the very smallest sizes. I would probably have to take in the waist, but since it's an elastic waist short, I think that would be really easy to do. And I just thought this was really cute. So I might be picking this one up too and whipping them out some shorts, maybe in the middle of summer, um, to carry them into the beginning of the school year kind of thing. I just thought that was a great pattern. All right, those were my very favorites from the spring releases. I would love to hear yours. I would love to hear if I left any out. And I would love to hear any new indie patterns that I didn't mention that you were very excited about or have recently made or bought and are getting ready to make. And yes, share them all with me. And then hopefully people can look in the comments and be inspired by other patterns as well. All right, that is it for me today. I'm going to be back next week, next Wednesday, with some plans videos. The week after that is more like another little plan video. And then probably in the middle of June, I will do a spring wrap up of everything I made, my capsule, what I wore, how it went, all that kind of stuff. So I hope you subscribe and follow along. I will see you guys on Friday with a little vlog. Until then, happy sewing.